I feel like everything out of Easy E's mouth was just a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's let's talk about tattoos. People with like Bible verse tattoos, I don't understand it. I, like, I don't know if they think it's like a guaranteed ticket into heaven, you know? Like, like once they get to the gates, they're like, "Yo, Jesus, Psalms, bro, Psalms." Jesus is just there, like a like a like a security guard at a club. He's standing there, like he sees his boy in the back. He's just like, "Hey." Let him throw. Let him throw. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, and Amy Winehouse are at the front of the line. Like, what the fuck? Him? Psalms, bro. You know? <laughs> I feel like that'd be a good show. You take, like, Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, Amy Winehouse, put them in a house together. Jesus. Call, like, two and a half grams. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Winehouse had to ruin that, though, you know? <laughs> fuck that whole show up. Because <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> you know? Imagine going to hell with like a Bible verse tattoo. You'd be hiding that thing like a white supremacist tattoo in jail. Like, no, not me. Not fucking me. <laughs> Satan's like, yo, you want to do a line? You like bend over. He's like, is that a Bible verse tattoo? <laughs> the nerve, the nerve, you know? <laughs> Uh, I got jury duty down here, and uh, I wasn't excited about it in Anderson County. Uh, so I thought, like, if I if I dressed like a piece of shit, I wouldn't get picked. <laughs> so like, so like, I threw gasoline on myself and rolled in dirt. This is a true story. Yeah. And I and I roll up to to the Anderson County courthouse, and there's a dude in ACDC pajamas. I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, they gonna pick me. <laughs> They come out there like, yeah, there, there's one ca there's only one case this week. It's a domestic violence case. Oh, yeah. I started cleaning myself up. I was like, a domestic violence in the South. I started wiping <laughs> the dirt off. I tucked my shirt in. I was like, I want on this, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, like, like what do you do? Like, she make your sandwich the wrong way? You just cracked her? <laughs> you know, I'd be that one dude who, who'd like, be like, yeah, she's innocent. Uh, or he's innocent. Let's talk about it. Whoa. Something led up to this. Oh. Innocent. They're just like, he's a piece of shit. Get him off the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> right. Get him off the jar. <laughs> Damn. You know, uh, I want to tell you guys how I uh, got the cops called on my friend by accident. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell the story. You know, I'm in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And me and my boy, we go half on a hotel room. You know, no problem. Yeah. He puts it in his name. That was the fucking problem. Yeah. You know, we go out. I get this broad. He does not. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to go up to the room. Cool. We stay for a couple drinks, me and this girl. We go up to the room. I ain't got a key. I call him up. He ain't picking up. I'm banging on the door. He ain't answering. So I go down to the lobbyist, and I'm like, yo, I need a key for my room. She said, your name's not on the room. I can't give you a key. Wow. So I'm drunk. I thought it was a good idea to tell her that my friend wanted to kill himself, and I need a key. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need a key to get in the room. Wow. I thought it was a good idea, you know, at the time. Uh, she said, I'll be right back. Ten minutes later, two cops come into the hotel, and they give the cops the key, and I gotta follow them, and this broad's gotta follow. We go up to the room. He's, he's passed out, you know, he's drunk too. Wow. He's sleeping, the cops can't wake him up. So they call the EMTs up. So now two EMTs show up to the hotel. Oh, Got shit. two EMTs, two cops, me and this broad at the bedside. <laughs> he ends up waking up, and I'm fucking, I'm, my heart's racing, I'm sweating. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? And I, and, and I jump in, and I was like, I gotta be quick with it. I was like, listen, man, you were talking all crazy about wanting the office self downstairs. Right. I got worried. So this is why they're here. And he goes, no. Didn't happen, and I was like, "It did, man. You were talking all that craziness." And he, and this dude goes, "Maybe I did." And I was like, "There it is. You heard that, cops? I like, heard it. You said it. I'm out. I'm out." They were like, "No, you're not out." They did a two-hour interview to make sure he was all right in the head wow. before he could be left alone. And this broad had to stay with us at five in the morning, you know. Wow. And uh, true story. A month later, he quit drinking, and I didn't tell him for a whole fucking year that that was on me. <laughs> 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 
I feel like he was, he was like, yeah, I don't drink no more. Got really bad one night. When I woke up, there was two cops, two EMTs in the bedroom. That I, I wanted to kill myself and shit. Wow. And uh, little did I know, you know, I'm saving lives out here. It didn't been so <laughs> You know? Look at me. Oh, where are my weed smokers at? Yeah. No fucking fathers in the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's white privilege, baby. <laughs> <laughs>